Mrs. Frances Charsky. She had become a great friend. She loved St. Joe's and she you know, spent her last four months there. And her room was directly under the room in which Teddy was born. But they let us bring Teddy up to meet her, to go in and say hi to her. She said, well, hello, little Teddy. And Teddy was one day old. And Teddy's little hands, his little fingers came around her, long finger. And it was just this precious moment of incredibly magic moment that took place at St. Joe's. One hundred and forty-one years ago, four sisters were invited to come to Denver to open a hospital. And they came with faith. They didn't have a business plan. They came to serve. And they did as best they could with what they had. The sisters from the very beginning, one of their core beliefs was they were here to care for whoever was in need. In 1873, Denver was not it was less than 5,000 people, but it was sort of rough and rugged, if you can imagine Denver in 1873. One of the things that stayed true for 141 years is we treat everyone. It doesn't matter what your socioeconomic status is, what your race is, what your religion is. So I've kidded that I've never been to a dinner or a cocktail party when someone didn't say I was born there, my, my kids were born there, my, my brother and sister were born there. I was at a point where I didn't know if I could sing anymore. Um, not because my voice was gone, but because my heart, I didn't know what my heart was going to do. St. Joe's changed everything. They gave me back what I do. One of the things I learned early in my career is a hospital is truly the associates, the physicians, the volunteers, everybody who comes to work every day on behalf of caring for patients. It happens to take place in, in our case, this new pretty building, but the hospital is still the people. It's still the, the process of caring for each patient as well as we possibly can. We really want it to be patient-centered and we want it to be a place that your family can be there in a comfortable, peaceful place. It doesn't look or feel like a hospital in the public areas. Having said that, when you get to the operating rooms and the cath labs and the endoscopy suites, they're as high tech as you could possibly be. The fourth floor is mother baby, and where we have LDRs, we have C-section rooms, we have neonatal intensive cares that are all private rooms, postpartum and antipartum all on one floor. The med surge floors are all private. Every room has a private bathroom, designed in a very efficient way, yet very much focused both on the needs of the physician and nurse and the needs of the family. The mission and the vision of the sisters is still with us today. Even with a six-bed hospital, it was clear that they couldn't do everything by themselves. So the, the whole concept of of St. Joseph Hospital has been working in partnership with the community. One of the most significant partnerships in our history began 45 years ago with Kaiser Permanente. When Kaiser made a decision to come to Colorado, we really needed a strong hospital partner. It's fundamental to any relationship when you're taking care of people. And St. Joseph was willing to be our hospital partner. Our mission, vision, and values are very aligned with St. Joseph Hospital in terms of how we care for people. Our newest partnership is with National Jewish Health. We're excited about that because we think it blends the, a combination of strengths and weaknesses very, very nicely. Like St. Joseph's Hospital, National Jewish was always a place where charity care was of the utmost importance. National Jewish was started 115 years ago and its founders wanted to create a free hospital for homeless tuberculosis patients to care for those patients and never sent a patient a bill until 70 years later. Not only was it a free hospital, but it was a very innovative place where new therapies were tried on those patients who came not only from Denver, but from around the country by bringing together the best of National Jewish, St. Joseph and SCL Health. The future is limitless in terms of what we can do for patients.
The name on the hospital is going to be National Jewish Health St. Joseph Hospital. And we think that's important because we're still separate, but we're truly together in the operation of caring for the people of Denver, Colorado, and frankly, the United States. This is a celebration. This is the story about a community. This is history in the making.